Every time I'm down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I always try to hit up the rhythm section. It's my favorite store around here. They just have a ton of stuff in here. A huge horror selection with like Vinegar Syndrome, Severin, Arrow. They even had some Criterions. A lot of stuff you've probably never heard of. It is an awesome selection. They have a big selection of other genres too. They're a little bit more on the DVD side than the Blu-ray side. Uh, but they just have an amazing selection of stuff. A huge ton of ton of CDs. A huge ton. A lot of CDs if you're into that. But I've got a little baggie of movies. And uh, let's talk about the little stack of stuff I got this time around. Picked up Baxter on Blu-ray. Just, just always looked really interesting to me. Very excited to check this one out. I picked up Base Moy. This is actually a movie I've debated on getting before. It's a French extreme film that uh, looks pretty good. So I decided to grab it. Picked up Stone by Severin with a slipcase. It's so cool to find uh, Severin in store, let alone with a slipcase. Oz the exploitation for the win. Picked up Vampire's Kiss on Blu-ray. I did just get this on DVD not too long ago, but uh, I believe this is a newer Blu-ray. I think it was just released not too long ago, but happy to pick that one up. Love that movie. Finally picked up Ichi the Killer, or Ichi the Killer. Uh, probably pronouncing things wrong by Takashi Miike. This is one of his better films that I, for some reason, have just never picked up. Picked up Sleep from Arrow. I really don't know much about this film other than the artwork looks awesome and... That's an arrow with a slippy case, so why not? I found Human Lanterns. This is a complete blind buy. I've never, ever even heard of this before, but it says something about like martial arts meets uh, American serial killer movies, and just look at that artwork. Like, come on, that looks awesome. And last up is Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill, which is a film I've never heard of. It just... Looked kind of interesting, but the real selling point was featuring the voice of Dave Mustang from Megadeth, but that's my little haul. See ya.